Hey folks, um, I've been wanting to start a gardening channel for a while and I keep missing chances to do videos so I was just getting started putting some daikon radishes into a container and I thought I'd turn the camera on and show you guys what I was doing. This is the container that I'm planting my daikon seeds in. Um, I've already filled it with soil. I use an organic potting mix that I get at my local garden store and uh, I just put it in there. It's already been enriched with all sorts of earthworm stuff, alfalfa meal, kelp, shrimp, all that. All that good stuff. Um, and I've just laid it in. So you need more soil than you would for regular radishes. Because are long and white and not round and red. So they need more downward downward uh, depth to grow. So I've already started putting my seeds in here. Um, got a bumblebee that wants to come and say hello. Um, and I'm just putting them about one inch apart. I'm sewing them pretty thinly because I've never grown them before and I don't want to overcrowd because I hate pulling seedlings up <laughs> after they've already sprouted. So it seems like such a waste even if you can eat the, uh, the seedling. So I'm just setting my little seeds down, and I got my seeds from MI Gardener this year. These are my daikon radish seeds. I also got, I actually got almost all of my seeds from them this year, my, or the bulk of them anyway. Um, and I also got French breakfast radish seeds from them. And those have been growing really well. I sowed a pot inside back in like February, because I was, I don't know, maybe it was March, about March because uh, I was really getting the itch and it wasn't warm enough outside here in uh, eastern panhandle of West Virginia to plant outside yet. And so I planted some in a pot and then I went on vacation. The person that we'd gotten to uh, take care of the plants hadn't quite followed my watering instructions to the letter. And you know that's always the risk that you take when you let other people take care of uh, your house when you're gone. And, you know, this woman took wonderful care of our fur babies while we were gone, so can't complain, can't complain. Um, but anyway, so when I got back, those seedlings in the pot had sprouted, and they'd actually gotten really leggy. I was gone for about a week, and they'd been sitting under a grow light inside in my little seed starting area. And, uh, they weren't growing super well, you know? I couldn't quite figure it out. It didn't look like they were gonna thicken up into radishes. And then, about two weeks ago, I realized that the pot that I had bought didn't have drainage holes in it. So, always remember, always check for drainage holes, and if they aren't there, drill them in. I had to do that for this pot. This is a pot from the dollar store, which is a misnomer. This is a $4 pot, uh, and it's not worth the $4. So if you're getting your pots from the dollar store, make sure you're going to a real live dollar store. Don't go to one of those crappy ones where it's everything's more than a dollar. Because I can tell you, when I was drilling the holes out of this one, it was a real, uh, real piece of work to, to work with because the drill was, the plastic was shattering instead of just having a, a hole drilled in it. See, I've got all of my little seeds here. I've got them all in nice, neat little rows. To my a bag of uh, potting soil and grab a nice big handful. And it's quite a big handful. I have very small hands, so I'm actually just going to there we go. Dump it into a spare pot that I've got so I can crumble it up because my uh this bag, it's funny, I had both these bags sitting in my car for the last couple days, and uh one of them that I already used up this morning, uh was like perfect texture nice and not too dry not too wet crumbled up really nice this one is much wetter um so it must have been the soil must have been more wet when it was packed in the bag than the other bag so i'm just like crumbling it up on top of my seeds and these only need to be planted to a quarter depth of soil and so i prefer to do this method of covering up my seeds as opposed to poking holes uh because I am not good at it, <laughs> and dems the facts. If I can, if I can plant something deep, then I can do that. But for me, gauging between a quarter of an inch and half an inch, you know, all that, I'm just like, uh, I just feel like this is an easier method, and I haven't had any issues with it, which I will show you uh, when I 
show you my French breakfast radishes. So just sprinkled some on top. I didn't cover them completely. I'm just gonna pack the soil down. Again, this soil that I'm using is super wet right now, so it's wanting to stick together. I'm just a real pain in my butt. I don't think I've got anything that's more dry. So you gotta make do. Let's see if I can get something to scoop it up with. That's bigger than my tiny hand. Here we go. So back with a little bit more soil and we're just going to keep covering it up wherever you still see the radishes are so easy to sow the seeds are huge they're you know orange or red or some color that contrasts against the soil uh, normally and so it's pretty easy to see where you haven't covered them and so once you've gone in and done your first layer you don't want to bury your seeds you've already buried too deep so just go in and add a little bit more over wherever you still see seed peeking through there we go I'll just about do it. And pat them down again. Just want to make sure you've got nice contact with the soil. Okay. Yeah, just a couple peeking through. So I'm just kind of the soil is really making a, a fool out of me today. That's okay. turn on my hose and I'm gonna water these in and then I will find a sunny place to put them. Okay so we have found a sunny spot for these daikon radishes. I've got them sitting next to my little pallet raised bed quote-unquote container garden thing over here uh, and sitting next to this tomato plant and it's gonna be sitting right here. This is one of the sunniest spots in my uh, yard apart from the dug garden bed but that is still, I'm still dealing with the garden bed. It's a mess. <laughs> but anyway, we found a nice little spot for this. I'll turn on the hose. So we are gonna go ahead and water these in really quickly. Turn the correct setting on. There we go. And my, my hose has a not quite the lever. <laughs> this is the problem. So, Again, small hands, so the lever pulls back to turn on. And I don't like to pull it all the way because sometimes if you do, it'll just shoot out everywhere. Um, but my thumb is so small that I can turn it off once I have it on, but turning it on from an off position is quite difficult. So we're just gonna go ahead and turn on a light sprayer. And you don't wanna disturb the soil too much. Just trying to water these guys in. We won't have to water them very much because that soil that we put on top of them is pretty damp. Uh, the soil down at the bottom I watered before I put the seeds in, so that should be okay. So there we go. All right, so there we go. I like to fill it up till I can just start to see the sheen of water on top, and then I'll keep an eye on it for about five minutes just to make sure that everything's draining all right. The first time that your pot drains, it'll drain a little bit slower than later on because that water has to get down to the bottom. It has to make contact with your drainage hole. And once it does that, then it's easier for it to get through there. It'll make its little paths and crackways. <clears throat> so yeah, that's it. Planting some daikon radishes in a container. And hopefully in, you know, three to six weeks, I will have myself a little crop of daikons, which is really exciting because I have only had it a time or two in a restaurant, and they're hard to get around here wherever I am. So fingers crossed. I almost forgot. So I meant to mention that sowing my seeds pretty uh, thinly and not too deep in terms of radishes seems to have worked out pretty well for me so far. This is a little you know, two inch seed starting tray um, and I have planted about four radish breakfast radishes um, into each of the little cells and I only planted them about mm, three four days ago and as you can they started to come up you know almost you know, day two after planting radishes are quick that's why I love them so much they're very satisfying um, and so these all came up really quick we had a huge rain yesterday and they just all came up in the rain just so happy to be because it was it was a lot of rain but for the most part the Sun kept peeking out through the clouds because that's the West Virginia weather um, and as you can tell, they're all doing pretty well. They haven't all sprouted. 
but that's okay. So I planted about 40 seeds and I think I got about 36 sprouted. So it's not a bad percentage. Um, some of them are still coming up. So I'll keep updating on these ones also, but hopefully I'm really hoping to get a nice little crop of some nice healthy breakfast radishes.